Hi class. In this week's video, I'm going to go over a few things about the homework assignments for this week. As you've probably seen already, the focus this week is going to be on taking the essay that you've written so far and going through and making some revisions and some improvements to it. Um, there's a list in your Wordsmith textbook of um, some questions to ask yourself as you're reading back through this. And you can find that on page 104. And we're looking at it right now on the screen. Uh, you may have also noticed that with your, home, with, with your readings for this week, um, some of the chapters, when you try and click on the links to go straight to them, don't work. Um, this doesn't mean that you can't get to the textbook. What you want to do to find those um, on your Course Smart page, see this button right here that says Table of Contents? If you click there, that's going to give you the full list of everything in the textbook. So, um, right now I'm seeing the first few sections of the book and then a big list for part one. So this goes up to chapter 12. So if you're looking for chapters past that, then what you'll do is just click the section that you're looking for. So we'll look at chapter section two. Um, we have all of these chapters. So as, once you've opened up that table of contents, it should be easy to find whatever, whatever chapter you're looking for. So those are a few things with the homework um, that you'll want to keep in mind. As far as the actual revision, in addition to that list, what I would really recommend doing is going back through and reading the comments that I've left on the different sections of your paper. Um, so read through the introduction comments that I left you and make whatever changes are included there and then move on to the body then finish with the conclusion. What I'm going to do in the rest of this video is give you a sense of how you actually do that because I think that that can be a little bit overwhelming when you're looking at this you know paper that's a few pages long and it's got a lot of stuff in there and you're not used to revising. So this is an example essay and I want to thank the anonymous student who gave this to me to use. Um, and this is probably going to be more complicated than what you have for this class because uh, she's using a lot of sources throughout the paper. It's actually more of a research paper, but a lot, but these same ideas are going to work even if you're writing about your summer vacation or something much more simple like that. So the first thing that this student is going to want to do when they're going back and revising, revise is make changes that are going to affect the entire essay. So what kinds of changes can you think of that would impact the whole thing, the whole essay? Number one, if there's some comments in there saying that you need to totally change your topic because this is not going to work for X, Y, Z reasons, um, that's going to be the first thing you're going to want to handle. Fortunately, I don't think anybody has problems that severe with their paper. Um, some of you may, though, need to revise your thesis or add a thesis statement. And to do that, now that you've got an entire paper, it's written, you're done, um, the best way to do that is to go back through, read your essay, and once you've re-familiarized yourself with everything that you're going to talk about, go back to your introduction and try and answer the question, well, try and finish this statement. What I'm really trying to say with this paper is, and if you can if you can finish that statement, if you know what it is that you're trying to say with this paper, what you're trying to get across, then that's your thesis statement. At this point, if you're trying to get that thesis statement or if you're trying to revise the thesis statement, um, don't try and force every idea in that paper to fit within that thesis statement because you can always go back through and make some smaller changes, but try and get one thesis statement that you really like and add that to the end of your introduction. Um, once you've done that, once you have a new thesis statement um, or once you've made any changes you need to, now that you've finished your paper, to the thesis statement you already had, um, then that's going to be one, one major step in revising this paper. So once the, th the thesis statement is working well, what you'll want to do is go through and look at each body paragraph and make sure that that body paragraph is clearly connected to that idea from your thesis statement. So in this 
particular paper, the student wrote about the topic of cell phone usage while driving and the problems that this can cause. And through the process of her research, she found a lot of studies that show a quarter of vehicle crashes are estimated to result from the driver being distracted while driving, um, and that a lot of other studies have shown just how distracting it is to be trying to talk on the phone while you're driving. So a lot of this research, this was done after she originally wrote that introduction. So now she wants to go back to this introductory paragraph and try and answer that question. What I'm really trying to get across here is, and what she, what she now knows that she wants to say is that currently a lot of people are dying on the road every day uh, because of cell phone usage and that legislation and laws need to come in and help to fix this situation. So she's going to want to take those ideas and state them clearly in one sentence here at the end of her introduction. So if that new thesis statement, if that captures all of these ideas that are in her paper, then her paper is all pushing towards making the same point, and that's, that's what she's looking for. But now that she has taken that introduction and added that thesis statement in, maybe she realizes that some of these examples that she's using some of the articles that she's talking about, maybe some of these don't really apply. Uh, so that so now would be the time to go through and see if every paragraph is still tying back into that main idea. So if you had feedback from me about revising your thesis statement, these are the these are the questions that you want to think about. This is this is how you want to go about trying to revise that. Um, and then a next good step to take once you are sure that your thesis statement is where you want it to be is to go through each body paragraph and make sure it starts off with a clear main point. And really here you're going to be asking yourself the exact same question. In your first paragraph, what exactly is it that you want to say? And the answer to that, the answer to that question is going to be where you want to start that paragraph. As, as a reader comes through, they read your thesis statement, they move into the first body paragraph, they're going to know exactly what this paragraph is going to be about. And that's going to help them uh, understand where you're going with everything. It's going to make this a much clearer paper for them as they're reading. So whether we're working on revising the thesis statement or whether we're working on our main points, we're making changes that could affect large sections of the paper. Because if you come up with a main point for, you know, this paragraph here, and you realize that the main point of this paragraph doesn't really tie into your introduction, in, into your thesis statement, then you may realize that this paragraph doesn't really even work in the paper, so you would want to take it out. Making changes that involve large sections of the paper first can potentially save you a lot of time when it comes to revising because you're not going to uh, have to go through all of those sentences on a word-by-word -word, uh, level to make sure that that every sentence is perfect if you don't need that section in the paper in the first place. So from that point we can move down to the conclusion and making sure that our conclusion wraps up this idea that uh, we that we first stated in our thesis statement and that we have been supporting and explaining throughout the whole the whole story. So um, the final paragraph should wrap that up, should not disagree with the rest of the paper, um, and should conclude, uh, should bring all of those ideas together in a clear way. So once we've done that, now hopefully our entire essay um, is working towards one main goal that's stated in the thesis. So we've made the biggest changes we're going to need to make. Now we're going to look at smaller changes than that sort of like tier two concerns. And at this point, if I've made comments about how um, certain sections of your paper um, aren't quite on the topic that you're trying to write about, now would be a time when you could look at a specific paragraph and start making changes to that paragraph to make it so it's more on point. You know, at this point you would have already gone back in, you would have changed the main point so that it fits in with that thesis statement better but now you're going to want to go through the paragraph itself and make sure that the examples you use there back up that main point and make sure that everything within that paragraph helps to support that. 
this is also a good time um, if you need to change the order that you talked about events or talked about um, you know some, some, talked about different topics within your paper if you're going to change the order now is also a good time to do that because we've made all of the the global the whole the whole uh, paper long changes already now we're making slightly smaller ones once you get through that level of change that's when you're going to want to go through and kind of look at the paper with a fine tooth comb um, places where your words have been misspelled uh, places where the grammar doesn't quite make sense and my recommendation for those of you who have gotten comments about this being an issue um, number one it can be really helpful to have someone else try and read this out loud to you and if you do if you try this method which I really would recommend it would be good for you to have a paper copy of it as well to look at while they read it you know say you have your one of one of, one of your siblings or uh, maybe a husband uh, you have somebody take a look at this paper they read through it and whenever you notice them stumbling or sound like they don't quite follow what you're saying you can mark that on your paper and go back through and look at those areas really carefully to figure out what it is that's making that confusing sometimes it'll just be that you know you had one sentence that was fine except it was eight lines long um, sometimes it'll be something where you know you changed your idea midway through the sentence and hadn't realized it as you were writing it that'll be a good way of spotting those issues if you don't have someone who can help you with that another way um, that you can sort of do this on your own um, and the reason that you might want to take this approach is because if you just read through that paper again your eyes are going to see what you think you put in there you're going to miss some of the mistakes um, because you've already been through it so many times but go through the paper starting at the end and work your way to the beginning and read each of the sentences out loud so once you take it this kind of takes it out of context so that you're hearing nothing but the specific sentence so reading back through it this way you will hopefully catch a lot of the mistakes that are still in there um, those are two methods that you can use without even getting help from me or from anyone else in the class um, but if you still are concerned that you're that you've got a lot of these spelling issues or grammatical issues and you want help with that remember our study session on Wednesdays from noon to 2 and uh, you can also of course reach me by text message or phone so those are my strategies for going back through and revising this essay now that we've gotten to that point remember to start big start with things that will impact the entire essay and then you work your way down until you're looking at a word by word uh, analysis of the paper that you have here also you're not done revising just because you've gone through it one time it will take multiple times to get this to where it needs to be looking at the list in the book that will be good um, also make sure that you are looking at the comments that I've given you because I've tried to provide I've tried to focus on the most important parts of your essay that you can revise at this point the combination of those two will give you a really good sense of how to make this a really strong paper good luck this week with your revising and I look forward to talking to you guys soon